Hello everyone and welcome back to the tavern. I figured today we would do a little bit something different just because I like uh, interacting with and really doing listenings to uh, especially music and music video lore s things uh, without really knowing too much about it. And I know, I think, oh my gosh, how many years ago was this that this was released? I'm going to have to check the first time that this is released. It might have been seven years ago? Yeah, seven years ago. There might have been something uh, from from a certain little, you know, niche, not so popular game series called League of Legends that started to create their own music videos, I think called Star Guardian, if I remember correctly. I, with me not ever really being a League person, I never really bothered listening to any of this stuff, but apparently this has been huge and they've still been kind of creating things uh, for ever based on their characters from there. I may have played League of Legends maybe twice in my life. One of it was the actual thing, which I immediately got, you know, bullied over not knowing the difference between top bottom and middle lanes and and not understanding how the item equipment resource going and then the other being kind of that free roam thing uh where it's just like one lane and you're just kind of messing around with with the characters at that point but that that's about all i know of league i've barely played it i just know a lot of the <laughs> uh character designs are like cool and, and amazing, and apparently the music videos they've made based on their characters, or lore of them, is supposed to be, like, top-tiered top -tiered and top-notch. So I'm, I'm looking forward to kind of reacting to uh, some of these today. I believe I have five of them that I have uh, at least situated here. Um, I know very little about the characters of League, or really anything of it, but... Apparently, there's this whole lore thing that has happened based on the Star Guardian music videos. Um, and I think there's a... Is there a Netflix series or something about this? I don't know. There, there probably is. I, I think I remember reading that somewhere or or uh, at least hearing about it from, like, friends. I mean, even my non-gamer friends, a lot of my musician friends, I had one, I think, tell me last year, oh, yeah... No, no, there's this this cool, like, video game s thing called League of Legends that has, like, really good music in it, and they did something with Star Guardian, so this has been on my radar for a little while, but I figured I would, you know, like, with, with the Hades stuff, with uh, Epic, might as well go ahead and do some live reactions to things I'd never seen before, so let's go ahead and set myself up to where I'm supposed to be. Yeah, you know, my normal spot in, in, in the corner here. And and we'll go ahead and watch some of these. Uh, again, thanks to uh, thanks to my, my manager and editor for getting me the, the right links and stuff and probably quoting and doing things right along with me because, well, well this is really kind of a joint effort with all this stuff. So um, let's just see what we kind of get from here. I'm, I'm super curio. Curio, wow. I'm I'm doing this the day after a VR chat stream and my my voice is a little all over the place. So if I sound a little bit weaker than normal, that's that's probably why. But hey, you know what? When you sing karaoke for, for many, many hours with your friends, it, it is just it, it just do be like that, right? Alright, anyways, um Burning Bright, I guess we'll just watch it like normal. When I feel the need to kind of say something or whatever, I'll go ahead and like stop. You, you guys know the drill by this point. You've seen enough of my my videos in this aspect. So, uh, burning bright. Let's 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 see what this is about. Good old Riot Games. Already gotten very massive Legend of Zelda vibes just from this beginning part here.
this immediately just feels like something from Sailor Moon, and I think that's what they're trying to replicate from here. I mean, even kind of the introduction has that whole, like, musical, musical, uh, I don't want to say musical, fantasy a transformation girl thing. Like, immediately I'm like, ooh, Sailor Moon, and that kind of feels like that. I know Jinx is one of the characters, I guess, from League of Legends, and I don't know, I don't know, like, like, I, I'm I'm curious what what this might be here, and again, music video it might have to relate to the actual series from here, but this just sounds very, uh, very, very Sailor Moon like. And when I say that, normally Sailor Moon, uh, especially if you think of you know the initial fighting evil by moonlight. I forgot the words, but it has that very uh upbeat da 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 You kind of have that, you know, more upbeat, bright theme s stuff going along with it. So that, that's kind of cool to end up like like seeing that replicated in more of a spacey s thing. Well, Sailor Moon was already spacey from there, but massive Sailor Moon vibes from that. I'm I'm just gonna back that up a little bit because probably just the same kind of recordings. I'm I'm wondering what these five characters like like have situated i'm very curious about the lore of this i don't know let's continue this feels just like sailor moon to me dear lord was well, so jinx like their last member or something Yep, this just reminds me of anime uh, magical girl transformation thing, which obviously is what they're trying to replicate there. That's cute. I like it. I like it. Um, very typical chord progression when it comes to most stuff like this. In order to make it sound more spacey, that lovely use of the uh, synthesizers with probably, uh, probably very basic... Probably one four five one progression at least with the guitar bass uh, drum section there. So you know you got your normal your normal anime girl uh, anime girl. Yeah yeah everything's anime girl. No I'm kidding. Um uh, Sailor Moon anime esque opening from there. But I think it's just the same chord progression over and over, isn't it? Yep, in order to make replicate the 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 you know star starry type things, you have the you have this piano going the da, da, do, 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 almost sounding like like starlights or 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 uh, meteor showers going through there. Whenever you want to have any type that's uh, any type of that spacey theme, you need kind of that little. I'm I, it's normally a synthesizer that's at. Good old arpeggios kind of working for there, but it's cute. It's cute. I mean, if, if they're all trying to replicate again, I don't know. Is Star Guardian a Star Guardian? Must be that. that is that the name of like the actual YouTube thing? Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of research quickly because I always do this. Uh, Star Guardians, I believe it is a. It's a it's a Netflix series, right? I mean, I know there's skins for League. That's a lot of how it kind of works through here. That's that's a lot of how Riot Games works from here. Star Guardian anime, or is it literally just in like? No, maybe it is just like music videos. I don't know. It's just it's, again, legendary protectors of the universe, and me just looking at things it's cute it reminds me a lot of sailor moon it has a lot of those spacey themes to it that we normally replicate with like instruments and stuff from there um you normally always hear that like high synth when going to there all right i don't know if this is just going to kind of continue but i think the way star guardian works is it's just here's a set of skin skins from these characters let's make it feel as much of lore as possible and then kind of go from there again i don't know any of these league characters and i kind of wish i did but it's just not, 
I don't know. It, it, it's it's league is something that's never really been on my radar before, besides those like two times of just out of curiosity. But I mean, if we're ever gonna replicate uh, tried and true variations of of Sailor Moon s music, I'm on board for it. Uh, are these like the individual ones, Star Guardian Ari? Oh, maybe these are the the individual members. I guess a new horizon. The animation is done super Star fucking Guardians well. Guardians are destined to protect the universe. But who will protect us? No. Did we just get the, the gems from Final Fantasy XIV? Uh oh. Uh oh. Are, are there are there secretly Asians in those gems? Sorry, I, I'm 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 going too crazy from there. Maybe lore stuff protect now though. The universe. But who will protect us? Some say our endings have already been written, but I've stopped believing in fate. Magical girl transformation time, so maybe? Our story won't change. I will. The animation is beautiful with that. Yeah! Magical girl animation themes! My god, they replicate Sailor Moon so well with this. <laughs> Actually, I think I do recognize this character, maybe. That's adorable, though. Can't help comparing this. We decide our own destiny. I can't help comparing this to freaking Sailor Moon because again, you have the transformation thing, and it's. I mean, I know this is obviously just skins uh, based on everything that's you know being put over to here, but man, it's it's interesting. It's interesting. This is probably some type of event they did a long time ago, but the music videos are phenomenal, and it's just so Sailor Moon esque. Any time, especially if you look back to to the uh, anime that started all with Sailor Moon, I, I can't believe we keep coming back to this, but that's just what this reminds me of. You always have this one vocal line that's always kind of eyeing or ooing or singing. It's always one singular one there, always with some type of filters on there to make it sound more angelic, while you have the twirly, spinny, uh, uh, regular... I guess in this case, Fox Girl, uh, but regular girl being like, "Huh, have the magic up, even up to the to the whole thing of of hey, let me let me let me show the the partial naked outfit here, like yeah, like like the the actual transformation itself. I mean, the this here itself is just flat out what you would see when when one of the Sailor Scouts was just transforming. Uh, this must have had so much influence from Sailor Moon, and like even the music." Yeah, yeah, the melody line's different. You're probably going to hear that same kind of motive going through that we heard within the initial uh, first video from here. Um, this this whole story... Da -da 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 I really can't, like... I, I would need to listen to it a few more times to, like... To, to You know, let me let me listen to that to that animation one more time. And again, you have that synth in the background going with da 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 da. It's just arpeggios, but when you do arpeggios, it sounds more angelic, and that's that's probably what they were aiming for for here. But yeah, this time it's just the vocalist who's doing the main melody, just like they kind of did with the first one. But it's more just a focus on the the voice of there. It's cool. It's cool. I I could already tell these are gonna be like fun little little shorts to kind of work with. Um, Light and Shadow is apparently the next one. Um, Light and Shadow, another one of the trailers from here. My gosh, what are we gonna have? What's his face? Um, the the the, the very like well dressed male of of Sailor Moon. God, I forgot what his name was. Like something Rose. It was something Rose, but I don't remember what the Rose thing. What was his name? What was his name? I'm already just kind of making predictions from here. Uh, Sailor Moon Rose. Yeah, Sailor Moon Rose guy. What was his name? 
Tuxedo mask. Is the light and shadow going to involve tux tuxedo mask in one way or another? I don't know. This is just me making predictions. I mean, the background's amazing. I can't get over this animation, how well it's done. But again, Riot Games doesn't surprise me. Oh? I can't get over how flashy this is. Your prediction or something? Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sorry, I just had to like watch that whole thing. I didn't mean to stay silent for like three full minutes, but I was like super curious about this. Is, is, it, like, is the whole premise of this that the Star Guardians are like being corrupted and by, by like one person and those gems are the ones that were corrupted and then this main, main one, I guess it's Ari. Ari is the one who's who's trying to like restore their darkness is it or, or restore their light from their darkness because i'm recognizing at least in the second one that some of them seemed like corrupt versions of 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 the, the I, I don't know i'm curious like I, i'm starting to kind of see that maybe there's some type of lore that i'm i'm getting through this just through the the videos themselves like hey hey we need to get rid of the 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 corruption that is that is causing your gems to make you evil or something Maybe the, I mean, they have the Jinx, uh, the, the Jinx desk, like, I think in the first or second one. So is Jinx, like, the main villain from this? And then, uh, and then Ari is kind of like, you know, the main protagonist who's just trying to get the, the, the team bet. I don't know. This is, I know nothing of League, so I'm just kind of going through this. But I'm noticing, at least, that every single one of these, they use the same motive. Uh, they just end up getting stronger. And you heard me have that kind of physical reaction to... 
when I think it was the cathedral there was like falling or something. Uh, yeah, no, that that definitely looks like darkness corruption over here. Like I, I like there was this one time when the vocals like pop forward, and I'm trying to see when it was. Like it was about when everything fell. I'm trying to see if I can find it because there was like a time when the vocals hit massively, and it kind of made me just like ha ha ha. And it was just, again, using that same motive that they introduced back in the original trailer. I'm gonna call that the, the, the magical girl motive. But the way they did those vocals was phenomenal. Where, where did they do it? Was it around here? I think it might have been right here. Yeah, that As Light and Shadow, which is of course the name of it there. But... You, you have that, it's a very subtle, like, motive you hear there. Da, 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 ba, 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 da, da, da. Still using the same chord progression introduced, like, in the first two uh, trailers. But with those first two trailers, most of that was done in major. While this one, it feels like it's whatever this event that had happened from here uh, kind of flipped itself on its head, it looks like, and is making it more, um, more in minor key to make it sound a little bit more, like, hope is being lost uh especially during this scene like i was so quiet with her because i'm like well shit people are clearly dying here or close to dying but those vocals coming in just put such an intense like sound to there but then once you get to like the end here and you have the the main character uh just pop out you go back into the major key again because that is like hey Maybe light will go forward from here. And this, like, interwoven play between major and minor um, also is such a very good way to do it. And also that drum line. That really is like, okay, this is much more intense than us just introducing what these other concepts uh, were in these first two trailers. This is like the intense middle ground from here, the intense fight. It's so well done. It's so well done. Uh, th this makes me like smile and 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 all the yees with it. All right. Anyway, shadow of a doubt. Shadow of a doubt. This we're, we're getting into things from like to uh, 2022, and I think this is kind of where Star Guardian might have left out. But let's or or and they must do this event every couple of years. Excuse me, a couple of years or something because there's quite a few of these Star Guardian things. All right. Anyways, I might be quiet during the whole thing first while I'm trying to you know pick apart things that I'm hearing, but, but let's see what we got. You just drag them down. You'll always be alone. You're a disappointment. Oh. Why do you even try? Opposite side now? God, whenever you have the just the held out long uh, string chords over there, uh, anytime they do that, that's just either like a prophecy, feeling of dread, anything like that. We heard that a lot with the epic stuff, especially when it came to to the. Uh, to the prophet, so I I'm getting major prophet vibes just from this, and obviously this came out like way before there. But most media ends up using these long, drawn out, diminished chords of uh, instruments, just holding it out to give that feeling of dread. Because the less rhythms you have, the more dramatic things feel to people. Plus, you know your bum bum heartbeat stuff. Heartless stuff? Oh, snap. Now. <laughs> Your shadow self, clearly. What is this? Just Shadow Link? <laughs>
Yay, you took the darkness in your heart. Except not really. Being dragged into the shadows more. Prophecy. Oh, oh, that was a fun little jump scare at the end there. With their, let me see if I can freeze that for a second. Yeah. Oh, that's a cool way to do that. Uh, just having the shadow self there. Uh, I mean, shadow of a doubt. I mean, the, the like at least lore wise. I don't again. Don't know who these characters are. I apologize. Like I'm not a league player, but but the music's just. It's that epic light versus dark thing that you would hear in Kingdom Hearts-esque music. You know, this reminded me a lot of a dive to the heart aspect from here. Especially how intense uh, the fight scene was and stuff like that. Fighting your own shadows. You know, right out of right out of Persona 4. Maybe they're just in the TV world now. No. Um, but again, the intensity of the drums uh, using that same kind of... I'll call it the tribal beat. Whenever you have anything kind of intense going there. But... Like, is this just how, how, like, doubt looks to somebody? Like, how, how feeling like you're worthless can, can drag you into the shadows and, and release a demon? Is this just a, 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 um, whatchamacallit, a, a parallel to, like, real life here? Uh, all those self-doubts and stuff can end up waking your inner demons, this, this, this girl's inner shadow coming out. But, the, like, the intensity of the music, and then when, even when, like, this part here, like, when when you have that ray of hope coming in, again, a lot of play between minor and major here. But when you have the, the, the ahs come in as, you know, one of the star guardian angelic things is like, I'll save you! But on the opposite side, you have the shadow of the doubt. Ha! Huh, I see why they probably called that. I wonder what... Like, I, I'm really curious what this event must have been back in League or whatever. If these are just skins that they're like, Hey, this seems magical, girl. Like, let's combine them together. But just having this, like, mixture here of... Of major and minor play with intensity there. Just, oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's... Uh, it's all... It's so cool what you can do with just a little bit of a shift of a of like a, a major to a minor chord and how it makes people feel and even with things just dragging out and then having the the what i call the typical scare violins what i mean by that is you normally hear violins start like uh start glissandoing glissandoing meaning like moving upwards or downwards into the upper range there and normally you get that type of things it gets the audience to kind of like do a gasp almost like waking up and that honestly this is a perfect example of that if you listen closely to the violin line you'll hear this brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
cause when we're gone, everything goes on. So this gives me the vibes of like the ending of an anime. Like, like the the lyrics are clearly the most prominent part, and this I think feels the first one that it had. The the lyrics being more prominent from here. Um, this is something that I'd always feel like at, at the end of like a My Hero Academia episode or 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 the end of some type of major arc going on in an anime. It's it's there's always this meme that has popped up that that I'm tr I'm trying to remember I saw it maybe like a year ago maybe on TikTok or something or maybe even longer than that or at some point cuz who doesn't doom scroll on there but it's literally like uh just this guy crying in in, in the background uh the the be one of the main characters just died and then all of a sudden you go into the into the credits with this this high optimism thing and everyone seems happy even though a pivotal person just died and they ended up with doom and gloom that's what this is seems like it's trying to parody to me um I, i'm just gonna go a little bit further back but like the um, immediately the voice is like very very like soothing but i feel this is very an anime-esque uh so it might be a little bit more upbeat uh and if it ends on some type of of what we call a plagal cadence from there or or fake cadence i guess the best way to put it I mean doesn't end on a one then that will a thousand percent be kind of what i thought it would be i love the guitar line there it's beautiful This is so anime esque and I love it. The waves crash on. Is it selfish that I'm happy as we pass the setting sun? So now I'll be overcast. Once they get past this, they'll probably go back into the heavier instruments again to make it more upbeat. There it is! The vocals are beautiful, though. Yep, this feels like the end of an anime. A thousand percent. Oh. So I don't know what about this is, and I'm sorry I had to like stop it right here, but just the way that this is set up like like this is this is a what we call just an ABA format again for music and I know I talked about this the A part being this kind of very isolated soloist with kind of the guitar and then when we get back to kind of the main melody or the B theme at this point that's when you add all the instrumentations back into it that's a lot of how a lot of music is con conveyed especially in most like modern stuff and anime and anything else from there intros and endings but like i don't know what it is if it's just the animation stuff but this is actually like a little teary from here like you're you're kind of seeing i'm guessing this main character trying to chase after one person that she may have lost to the darkness or something obviously some guy that or or like or, or some type of um what's the word i'm looking for um, some type of romantic interest that may have been in her life that fell into the wrong side or fell to darkness or whatever, but she has friends that are here to kind of help help bring her back to the light or something like that. I don't know. It's definitely some friendship that that did went awry because they're on opposite sides or something like that. It's it's a cool way to kind of do it. I like it. But it's making me a little teary because I like plot lines like this. So scared of getting used to this. All the 
Best saddest thing, sorry, you do have friends there to help you out. That's okay. Okay. I mean, this is, I think it's a message that is tearing me up a little bit. Like you need to move on no matter like what happens from there. And like two sides of the same different life, di different sides of the same coin. I don't know. Like, like this is really cool. And it did make me feel a little emotional from there. And I think a lot of that has to do with just a lot of different combinations. Like people move on times move on from there and 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 I, I feel the main message we're trying to get out of this is hey hey you will like sometimes you can't you can't hold on to the past you got to keep looking towards the future because there's going to be new challenges new friends new adventures to kind of go through learn learn from the past or hold on i don't know i'm, I'm teary i shouldn't be teary over a music video over something that i've never really even played or know any of these characters for but it's 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 what music can do for you especially with the the correct chord progressions and everything kind of going on from there <laughs> oh man Th these are cool these are cool i like this um i know this particular franchise has a lot and i mean a lot of music videos that kind of go along with the lores of the characters and everything but this is this is pretty this is beautiful like that last one feels like the ending to an anime arc to me and it just reminds me of how i felt the first time i got to like the end of like season one or two of my hero or watched one of those sappy things like fruit baskets or something that's the kind of vibe it gets and it, it makes you teary over the the memories that you make with there and and that's that's really what music does it brings people together helps to show a lot of the journey and and whether we connect with people that way connect with anime characters connect with with movies films that's that's a lot of how that likes to you know go through and and drive stuff we're still taking uh recommendations and suggestions of stuff for me to react to so if there's any music movie uh game thing whatever that you might think that i might like to enjoy or get kind of a musical taste twist of it taste twist taste twist uh, da, 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 no. <laughs> uh, if there's anything that you might want me to react to leave it in the comments you, you guys know the drill from this if you like this like comment subscribe it it helps uh spread spread the analysis enjoy music to everyone so leave your suggestions leave your own comments i love to kind of read through everything i do take the time to read through all of your lovely lovely things that you guys say as i kind of overanalyze the crap out of everything but hey it's what we do in the music world right all right guys until the next video i'll see you later Bye bye